All right, so we got the right side lying adductor pullback with left arm behind head. So you're gonna lay on your right side. You want um, your feet flat up against the wall. Shins should be vertical. Like I don't wanna pull my heels too far back so that my knees are in front of my, like my, uh, this would be called a negative shin, shin angle. So from my knee down to my ankle goes back. I want it so that my ankle is stacked right below my knee, okay? My torso, I don't wanna be leaning back like that. I wanna kinda of curl forward and I'm just gonna rest my head um, on my arm. I'm gonna put the ball between my knees so now there's separation between my left foot and my right foot, okay? And again, I got my feet flat up against the wall. From there, your setup, I'm not gonna do this as I explain things, but your setup with the left arm will be behind your head like this, okay? <clears throat> anyway, ball between the knees. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lightly press into the wall with your left foot. That'll slightly anchor, that will create like an anchor for your foot against the wall. From there, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna inhale through your nose. When you inhale through your nose, you should feel a light stretch through the left side of your low back, your left glute, and just below your left shoulder blade. From there, you're gonna exhale through your mouth pull the left knee down into the ball or whatever object you have that's close to the size of a mini soccer ball you could roll up a towel that would work just fine or even like a yoga block so you're going to go ahead and push down into the mini soccer ball and pull the left knee back as you exhale and then repeat inhale Exhale. So I've got the intent of pushing down and pulling back every time I exhale. The thing that you want to make sure of is when you when you roll back, when you pull back with the with the knee, you don't want the whole hip rotating backwards like this, because then you start to use your low back to create that rotation. It's a very small range of motion on this exercise. When you do the exhale and you push down and pull back, though, you should feel the inside of your left thigh and you should feel some left glute. Okay. If you start feeling like you're gonna cramp uh, in your hip pocket area. Chances are maybe you got your foot too high up on the wall, make sure it's flat. Um, and then the second thing you can do too, is if you need to create a little bit of a bridge here with your hand, so you can slide your hand underneath your side and then try to maintain that bridge as you do the exercise and that should shift the tension to your glute and away from your hip pocket area. Um, <clears throat> Inhale and the exhale. So when you inhale, again, make sure you're inhaling through your nose. Take about three seconds on your inhale. As you exhale, it's forceful, about five to six seconds long, and then you'll pause, no air in or out, for a two count before you inhale again. So a full cycle is gonna look like this. <clears throat> So you notice the pause I had between my two in, or be, between my first exhale and my second inhale. Uh, make sure you're doing that. That'll give you the full effect of the exercise. Don't rush this. Um, it's meant to get you set up so that your joints are in a better position so the muscles can do their job when you're out on the court. Um, you rush it, chances are you're not gonna get the intended benefit of it. <clears throat>